welcome back to me talk tv it's rain i'm so happy that you decided to join me on today today we we're talking about how to get rid of these thinking crusty nasty bugs okay bed bugs if you will now the first thing you're going to need is your hands on the handheld steamer you're going to need a handheld steamer to get rid of these bugs okay yeah so um and then the next thing you're gonna need is your hands on some alcohol get your hands on some rubbing rubbing alcohol and also some baking soda those are the three things you're gonna need to get rid of these bed bugs if you would like to see that and i know that you do please stay tuned i also like to mention that there will be shout outs on today i will be answering your questions on today so if you left a, a comment or anything you will be shouted out on today on this video. I'm so, so excited. So let's get started. So the first thing you need is your hands on the handheld steamer, which will kill them on contact. You just get your handheld steamer, fill it up with water, let it get hot, and then you put it on the bed bugs and you steam your couches, your rugs, and all of that. And I'm telling you, they will drop dead on contact. And also you can get your hands on some alcohol. Make sure you put it in a spray bottle and you fill that spray bottle up with alcohol you could spray your rugs after you steam and that is just the icing on the cake okay um and but you can't kill them on contact with the alcohol as well if you don't want to get up in the middle of the night and steam also get your hands on the baking soda the baking soda is the cherry on top and what you do is you take your baking soda you go around the edges of your rugs okay and this will kill them over the long haul their eggs and all it dries out their foundation so make sure that you find the foundation as well because you want to make sure that you find that foundation because that is where they started from that is where they start laying the eggs so make sure you find that on today i'm so so excited to be bringing y'all these videos because i know that there are a lot of people out there that need help on today okay so make sure that you watch these videos all the way to the end for best results okay i say this all the time because you don't want to miss a thing so um also you want to make sure that you get your hands on the tea tree oil listen everything will be linked down there in the description i am able to post it up on today so y'all can get those links and everything so make sure you visit the description and get your hands on your alcohol your baking soda and your um your steamer um, and make sure that you get that 10 in one floor steamer as well. Okay. It comes with a mop as well. So all you have to do is go to my Amazon affiliate link, which will be linked down there at the bottom, push that link, go right to it. And you can get your hands on all of these products to get yourself started and ready to go. And you cannot be lazy when it comes to these bugs. Okay. So make sure that you are staying on top of them. Even if you might think they're gone, do not stop because most likely they probably not gone if you are staying on top of them you will be be able to get rid of them fairly quickly okay but if you're just sitting there and you're not doing anything you're being lazy like you see one crawl by and you don't get up and do nothing about it then you're gonna be in some for some trouble because they're gonna multiply and multiply and keep multiplying and you don't want that okay the more you steam the more you put your baking soda or whatever down you don't have to keep piling that up you don't have to um but the more you, you spray your alcohol and all that stuff um chances are you can get rid of them quicker than not okay so i want you to follow these tips tricks everything that i am telling you on today and you will be bed bug free i promise you that because i have not had any and i'm so happy i am free and when you are free you will know it because your family will stop complaining you won't see any scratches i mean bites on your arm they won't come in their tummy bites and stuff on their arm you won't see one crawl by at all you'd be like they're gone because you will feel it too you will feel it you will feel that they are gone and that is the best feeling in the world i'm telling y'all when i first felt that they were gone i was like i wanted to throw a whole party i was like listen they're gone i don't feel them i don't see them and then days go by days go by days go by and you don't see them you don't feel them none of that your family's not complaining that means they are gone and you are set free you are home free but you want to keep them out of your life permanently so that means when you go to the hotels do not put all your luggage out like that 
check check the hotel room. Look around, okay? Make sure that they're not in your room. We just left a hotel room not too long ago. And I'm telling you, we didn't have them, okay? Because you search, you look. And even if you're riding in a, a stranger's car like Uber, Lyft, anything, look around. Look around. Because you don't want them things coming back. They are hard to get rid of if you're not staying on top of them, okay? Um, and then you won't have to call no exterminator. Once it get to that uh, that infestation, you might have to call your exterminator. You don't want to even let it get to that point, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get to the shout-outs because I have a lot of questions going on here. Like, what? What? Okay, so I'm so excited. Let's get to the uh, shout-outs. Okay, here we go with the shout out. The first shout out goes to Alo. Shout out to you, Alo, and thank you for leaving a comment, a comment or question. It says, please, Amel says, where did you get your steamer from? Can you give me the link? I will have that link down there at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and give you a heart and thank you for taking out the time to comment and shout out to you again. The next shout out goes to Derek Sanders. The maskets are on top and bottom of bed and box springs and like a headboard wrap box spring and bed with vapor, plastic, da, 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 uh, tape, steam with, okay. This person is just telling y'all, I guess, how that they did it. But listen, I did not go through all of that situation, and I got rid of them just fine, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and give you a heart. Thank you for your uh, comment, and uh, shout out to you as well, Derek Sanders. The next one goes to uh, A. It's just an A, y'all. It's just an A. So shout out go to you, A. Um, how did you use the baking soda? Okay, I'm going to explain that one more time. The baking soda is to go around the edges of your rugs, okay? Because they're hiding in those edges around your rug, cracks, crevices, all of that stuff. And you want to make sure that you are putting your baking soda right there to kill those eggs, okay? So that is how you use the baking soda. Next shout out goes to Z X O X O. I just moved into a new place, literally only been here for four days and found out there were bed bugs oh i feel so sorry for you i really do um now you need to make sure that you go and talk to the uh is it apartment or house either one you need to go talk to them if you have to move you should be able to move because you only been there for four days they and they i'm pretty sure they didn't tell you they had bed bugs okay so you are able to move okay um into somewhere else get everything back deposit you should be able to do all of that it's the same way with roaches if you move into a place and they have a roast infestation and they didn't say and i'm pretty sure they're not gonna tell you you have the right to move okay this is I've, I've seen it happen that's the reason why i'm saying you have the right because i've seen someone stay in an apartment for two weeks say they, they were roach infested and they moved within two weeks and i was like wow um so make sure that you do that because this is not your problem they should have had gotten rid of those bed bugs before you even moved in okay so don't make that your problem go ahead find you a nice clean place to live like i said um so and i'm so sorry that that happened to you some people are just not honest about things that are going on in the places um, that you move. And she says, also, I never had them before. I am disgusted and mortified. I My landlord called an exterminator. However, I just want to leave because I feel betrayed and played for a fool. And you have the right, like I said, to go. Because they should, they, they, they know. Now you want to try to call an exterminator? I think not. I think not no um and so because a lot of that stuff will get into your covers it would get into your bedding it would get into your stuff so make sure that you uh get some of those bags that you put all your clothes in make sure they're not in your clothes and uh you know suction it out and make it to where they cannot get into your stuff okay and get out of there is all i'm gonna say is get out of there because that is a problem that you do not want um, and next shout out goes to even Evan M. Uh, Awake is sick, sick or something like that. 
shout out to you and it says this woman is beautiful bed bugs stopped biting two years ago almost three now thanks if you read this oh thank you so much for your uh comment and all of that and i'm so so excited this that this worked for you and thank you for helping someone else in the comments to know that this thing does work okay um i, I just love when y'all do that because you know you get some people on here to try to be against and say no nah, 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 it don't work but it works and i thank you for leaving that comment so much um let's see do we have another one and this is the last one i believe December love. Shout out to you, December love. I did a little of everything and nothing working. Exterminators, whatever they use, cause them to hide and they are expensive. I did steamers, alcohol, over-the-counter spray. It makes it worse. I tried everything from my mom's house, reading about the, the devils. What does that mean? Oh, I guess she's talking about the bed bugs. I'm about to scream. Okay, listen, you don't have to scream. I promise you everything that I am telling you on today, you can get rid of these bed bugs, okay? I, I pray that they're not infested or anything like that. I don't know why you're having such a hard time, but I'm going to tell you one of the things that will cause you to have a hard time. The hard time will be if you're not getting up doing anything about it, if you're not steaming every day. You know, if it's that bad, you need to probably steam every day or every other day, you know, until you can see them go down so make sure that you are doing that on today um i am here to help you guys in any way and i'm so so happy about your comments and shout out to each and every one you one of you for leaving these comments and helping others in the comment section letting them know that this does work because it does because listen i i already didn't seen it go away i've already seen them go away so i know that this works and so go ahead and leave me a comment so I can shout you out in the next video. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Also, watch it all the way to the end, even the commercials if you don't mind. <laughs> I really greatly appreciate that. Y'all help me in any kind of way. I thank everyone out here for your support. Thank you so much for everything that you do, every like that you put on here, every comment, everything that you do. I greatly appreciate it, and I can't say it enough. Um, so I'm so, so excited again. And if you want to be shouted out in the next video, make sure that you leave your comment. And also, don't forget to go down there and hit that Amazon affiliate link and get your hands on the handheld steamer, the alcohol, the 10-in-1 steamer, and the baking soda, and all of that. Everything that I have linked down there, you can go push the link to. Okay, go ahead and be my guest. I love you guys. And I will see you, you, and everybody else in my next video. Be blessed.